So which DV mode, dig, DV is digital voice. Which digital voice mode should you choose? You've got so many options. You've got DMR, D-Star, Yezu System Fusion, P25, NXDN. Who knows what else? Which one should you choose for yourself? Find out today. Shut up and sit down. Hey guys, welcome to Ham Radio 2.0. My name's Jason. I'm KC5HWB. If this is your first time to join us here, consider subscribing below because on this channel we do reviews, news, and how-tos of everything that's new in amateur radio. So the digital voice modes are newish. If you've gotten into amateur radio in the last 15 years or so, then you might have been accustomed to the digital voice modes for a long, long time. In fact, maybe some of you, that's all you've ever talked on. And that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. But today we're going to talk about the three main digital voice modes, which is DMR, D-Star, and Yezu System Fusion, what they call YSF, System Fusion. Uh, there's a couple different names for it. I will not make any apologies for the fact that I like DMR best. If you've been watching this show for any period of time at all, you probably have heard me say I like DMR better than the other ones. That does not mean that I hate D-Star and hate Fusion. And it does not mean that I'm telling you that you should choose DMR. That's not what I'm saying, okay? I'm saying for my personal preference, I like DMR. But one of the things that is great about YouTube, and if you ask any other YouTuber this, they're probably gonna tell you the same thing. One of the things that's great about YouTube is doing videos for you, the viewer. It's great. I can make videos that interest me all day long, but if I'm not making in videos that interest you, then you might not watch it. So I want you to watch my videos. So I want to make videos that you want to watch. That makes sense? Is that a conundrum? That might be kind of that might be kind of one of those back to the future things where you change. Anyway, um <laughs> So I want to make videos for you. So if you're watching this video, put your comments below and let me know what else you would like to see on the digital voice modes. So here's the thing. I'm in a, I'm in a little bit of a unique situation where I live in the North Texas area, about halfway between Dallas and Fort Worth, and we have repeaters for everything, except NXDN, I guess. We have repeaters for almost everything in the North Texas area. Not everyone can say that, okay? And I'm not really telling you that to say that you should move to an area with all these repeaters. What I'm saying is, here's the bottom line. Because I get this question a lot. Which digital voice mode should I choose? Should I choose DMR? Should I choose D-Star? Here's what you should choose. Choose the one that's closest to you. Choose the one that you have repeaters near you on. If you're in an area surrounded by D-Star repeaters, get a D-Star radio. If you're in an area surrounded by DMR repeaters, get a DMR radio. If you're in, in an area like I am that has everything, get one of each. Some of you probably don't want to get one of each. Maybe if you stay in ham radio long enough, you might end up with one of each. So the point I'm trying to make is what do you want to use? Because realistically, in all, in all seriousness, no choice is wrong. No choice is wrong. If you're like, well, I don't know if I should get a D-Star radio because it's been around a long time and maybe they're going to phase it out because of DMR and Fusion. No. I don't see that happening. I really don't. I mean, eventually, yeah, 100 years from now, there'll probably be a lot of other digital modes that exist. And the modes that you have today won't be around anymore. But, man, they're still making brand new D-Star radio. D-Stars, I, I pick on D-Star because I choose D-Star. I'm not picking on them. I choose D-Star in this statement because they've been around the longest in amateur radio. That's the digital voice mode that's been around the longest. But they're still making brand new radios. ICOM is still making D-Star D radios. They're a brand new IC9700 and they're a brand new IC705 QRP rig. D-Star's not going away anytime soon. Uh, System Fusion and DMR, not going away anytime soon. DMR, even if amateur radio dropped it tomorrow, DMR's not going away because DMR's not an amateur radio standard. It's a commercial standard. It's a public safety standard. Okay, so that's why so many companies out there make DMR because they're open source. DMR uh, radios are open source. Anybody can make one. And you've got all these other companies making it and using it in other areas of the world outside of amateur radio. So DMR will be around for a long time after the other ones die. But that doesn't mean that anything else is going to die soon. I think you're probably going to see more 
digital voice modes come up before you see any of the current ones go away. That's just my opinion. Though. Today I wanted to show you guys, I'm, I'm going to do, I'm going to grab my, uh, my R Finder B1 and I'm going to let you listen to what DMR sounds like. I'm not going to be talking. I'm just going to fire up the Pi Star TGIF hotspot that I did a review on, which I'll post a link right here. I'm going to fire up that hotspot and I'm going to do a, uh, I'm going to poke, I'm going to, jump around between DMR, D-Star, and System Fusion, and I'm going to let you guys look and see what each mode sounds like. Here's the PyStar hotspot we'll be using today. And uh, on the PyStar dashboard, it will be easy to, to, uh, to jump around and show you guys what is what. Stay tuned and uh, give it a listen. Yeah, I think it's talking to. It goes in and checks with Yesu, and I think it's talking to the Internet. It just can't get those communication ports, so I guess, opened up. Um, and down there under the uh, under properties, uh, where you wrap the settings under call settings. Yeah, so anytime you know, somebody uh, finishes up a conversation, it returns to that room. And I think that's the uh, setting there. I'm not using that one. Okay, yeah, I'll probably offline with you to kind of figure out the best way to just kind of leave this thing hovering. Um, I'm thinking about getting a, a um, AMS type radio so it can be a multi-mode. So you don't even have working yet, and uh, I'm already thinking what else I need to buy to make it useful. Yeah, um, depends what you want to do. You know, that's a big thing. I just wanted to get access if I wanted to the local repeater, which I could do in, uh, you know, I take the, the, my, uh, the 100 to turn it over until to go back into the HRI mode, not the wires next mode, or something like that anyway. That's an example of system fusion going through the TGIF hotspot and people talking into the YouTuber's room, which is run by, uh, which was set up and run by Bob K6UDA. Um, it's FCS 003-48, available in the PyStar drop-down. So that's System Fusion. That's an example of what it sounds like. And the way he's getting to, he's got a, he, Bob's got a Wires X connection into an FCS reflector. He set that up manually himself because the hot spots, the, the PyStar and the open spot, they don't connect natively to Wires X. You have to set something up on the back end to connect an FCS reflector to Wires X and share it to a Wires X room. Uh, Yezu likes to control Wires X because they own the network. So it's all good. D Star. We're connected to reflector one Charlie. And that guy had a lot of loss rate, but that wasn't D Star's fault. That's just, he just, uh, I don't know what he was doing. Wasn't making his repeater and or hotspot. Wow, that was loud. Good morning, I am at HL5 Bravo Bravo Delta from W5 HWZ. There we go. That's what D Star sounds like. HWZ, this is HL5 BBD. Thanks for calling. Uh, it's morning here. <laughs> it's a bit cloudy day today. Uh, I woke up uh, an hour ago and I did some exercise at home and I came back to my shock room. I can hear you very well. I'm just feel that's excellent. Uh, back to you, W5HWZ. This is HL5BBD. HL5BBD. Yes, it's been a while. It's been since it's probably It's been quite a while, uh, I mean, since we've last talked. Uh, things out here in Colorado are good. Um, um, yes, uh, things out here in Colorado are good, um, they are, um, uh, we had, uh, Steve, why do we Korea. have several thousand, uh, uh, it's, uh, uh, your, your place is much safer than any other, uh, uh cities, but here in Korea, uh, the coronavirus is, uh, is, uh, uh, improving now, I mean, uh, no, but when you recall the cases uh, dropped to one digit now. Until last week it was two digit. Uh, uh, yesterday it was eight. Uh, there was eight and you recall the case. Uh, but the day before yesterday it was 22. So the, 
it's uh, uh, going to the uh, right way, I think, high. But you are still advised to stay home. Actually, there are many holidays in the beginning of uh, uh, May. Uh, Japan also has a lot of uh, holiday in the beginning of May. So uh, until the, the, uh, uh, that uh, uh, holiday comes on this morning. So that is D-Star, okay? If you can, I, I hope it's translating through the video, through the the recorded audio on the video correctly. It sounds good, but it's not as clear as the DMR and Fusion was. It's just older technology. Doesn't mean it's no good. It's just the codecs they use on it are a little bit older, and the technology's been around longer, so it still works, but it just sounds a little bit different. I think it doesn't sound quite as clear as Fusion and DMR do, but there's a lot of people using D-Star, so um, nothing in the world wrong with it. Didn't really use it that much with, with that, the, you know, those those radios, but uh, that's actually what I'm on right now because I'm in my little business car, personal business car like this. Um, it didn't have a radio or anything in it, so uh, I put the uh, open spot in here and uh, actually got it connected to the uh, cell phone. That's why I was just trying it out, so I guess, I guess you're hearing me all right now. Huh? Yeah, I'm here. You're fine. There's sometimes there's an echo, but no, you're sounding good. Yeah, I don't think it connects as good, or it doesn't do as good through the iPhone as it does through my uh, jetpack or whatever you call that, that Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi, I got no issues. Uh, I was just doing the uh, echo earlier today on here, and it was it was all breaking up and garbled and. I can't even really understand it coming back, so I don't know if it was the receive part or the transmit or both. Or so I, I didn't know how good I was coming out. You know, I wanted to get that on video for the diff, the three different modes. Now, there's other modes, as I said earlier. There's other modes in amateur radio besides DMR, D Star, and System Fusion, but these are the most popular modes. Okay. Uh, we do have some P25 repeaters uh, in amateur radio frequencies in various parts of the country. There's three of them in North Texas, several in the Houston area. I don't even know how many of those. I, I think they have four or five. I, I don't think it's that many. There's NXDN repeaters out there, which is Kenwood's Next Edge. Um, there's a big presence of NXDN repeaters in Florida and up around Chicago, I'm told. I've never been on NXDN. Uh, I've been on P25, never been on NXDN. Uh, don't really have any NXDN in Texas that I'm aware of. So, but, and your your hotspots will do all those modes. You can set your hotspot up to do NXDN. The open spot three, not the Pi Star, not yet anyway. You can take a Yezu System Fusion radio, like the FT3D I just showed you, and it'll translate from YSF to DMR, YSF to D Star, YSF to P25. So you can buy the Fusion radio and talk on all the other modes. But you have to have an open spot 3 to do that. You can't do that with a Pi Star. You can't do it with a repeater. Not at the time of this recording anyway. That might be a reason to choose System Fusion. Okay, but you're not really using System Fusion then if all you want to do is translate it. So use the one that you're going to... Choose the one that you're going to use most. DMR, D-Star. Even if it's P25. Even if you got it... If, if you're in an area that has a really big amateur radio presence on NXDN get an NXDN radio. <laughs> they're expensive because they're uh, they're more expensive than ham radios because they're made for the commercial world and amateur radio hasn't really adopted NXDN. Uh, you can get uh, but Kenwood makes some really excellent NXDN radios. So there is that choice for. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Tell me what you're using. Tell me which one you like best because we might not like the same thing best, and that's okay, no, no problem at all. But at the in the meantime, while you're doing that, check out these videos over here. Because guess what? I've got a lot of DMR videos, and I've got a lot of, and I've got several, not a lot. I've got several Fusion videos. So look there and look there for DMR and Fusion videos. Hope to see you next time.